as much as we try to demystify the fact that men should love God for no reason, it's true. But the, what makes you love somebody is what he gives to you. How many of you know that? The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave, Abby. If on, it's only begotten son so that you believe, Abby. But what did he first do? He gave. So every time you come before God expecting a miracle, expecting a transformation, what you are saying to God is prove you love me again. What you are saying to God is what? Prove you love me again. And there's no way every relationship must be serviced. You don't know. If you have a relationship with your wife or your spouse and every day you are giving him problem, will he love you? To enforce the fact that we need him more to increase our love and our desire for him. How many of you are with me? Do you know that every faith and religion was built on the premise of need? Only need. Need. Need was what spontaneous every faith. Whether it be traditional religion to Islam to Hinduism, there was a need that needed to be met. Sometimes it was not only physical, sometimes it was emotional. Sometimes it was psychological. Religion, like Buddhism, was built on the fact that there was so much pain in the world and there was no solution for the pain. So Buddhism brought acceptance of pain. So most Buddhists, they don't look for change, they just accept their faith. When thunder and lightning and there was famine, they had to discover gods that, and begin to worship God of thunder so, as, so that thunder cannot be destroying them. They had to understand gods of fertility because there was infertility. So when Jesus came and he said, I came with everything. I came that you might have life and have it in abundance. That is everything. The word salvation is not only saving of your soul. It's from the word sozo or soteria, which means to heal you, to deliver you, to bless you, to save you from sin, to save you from hell, to save you from sickness, to save you from poverty. As much as we don't like to say that in Christianity, that why how come Nigeria is a Christian nation and uh, everybody is, people are still suffering. Everybody is praying. But people, and I asked a question. I said, can you use one wing to fly? Can you use one wing to fly somebody? But do you know that when there was natural disaster, there was COVID, do you know God stood for us in Africa? Which means our prayer were working. They were working for protection, but we didn't take the principle of provision. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, Have you ever had an earthquake kill somebody in Nigeria? Kill titanic plate bent and there was tsunami. As much as Lagos is pushing water, highest, highest flood. Water has not turned to waves and swallow everybody the way it does in Japan. Prayer, protection. But the other wing of hard work is crippled. That's why I asked the question Can you use one wing to fly? How many of you understand what I'm saying? So God is protecting us, but the reason why we are not seeing provision is because we are not taking the laws of provision into consideration. And what are the laws? Hard work, innovation, good governance. It's not there, but there's protection. Somebody said something. He said, why is it that people are praying and they are fasting before they climb the road? In abroad, they don't pray, they don't fast before they climb. It's a lie. There's accident abroad. I, we watch them on CCTV. You know, one of the, one of the ways you can fool a generation... Is by extremism where there's no balance. I was saying something in, in Agoe when I was on Friday. I said, the, 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 the biggest fool, if he's bold, we have the biggest followers. If I say something foolish, two plus two is nine. And I say to my full chair, some people will believe. And I come out and say, Do you know when you add two plus two? One, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, nine. Everybody will follow because I'm bold about madness. But the moment I'm shy and I know 2 plus 2 is 4 and I don't talk, people will say 2 plus 2 is 9. Because people follow people that are bold. So when people come out and say, hey, what about America? There, there's, why do they have graveyards in abroad? If truly that medical science and science is the only thing that can cure death. There's no country that does not have cemetery. So what does that mean? It means innovation is not the cure for death. Innovation can lengthen it. You can know what killed you. People that are having cancer in America are more than people that are having cancer here. Diabetes, hypertension, and all those other diseases. They are more. 
Mental disorder, oh my God, that's where they are living. But when people are about to talk and discredit God in Africa, you hear them say things like, hey, well, what about in the Western world? The Western world, they don't pray, they don't fast. Well, the reason why you leave the country, you, don't, you stop fasting and praying because in, the, in that country you are slaved. By the time you wake up and go to work, by the time you come back, you'll be asleep. You can't pray and fast. Let us balance the truth. Let's balance the truth. Many of you are thinking, hey, when I travel abroad, me, Nima, pray, Mama, pray. Don't pray. Play. <laughs> and you become a prey. You will understand that in Africa, they, they don't need visa to come and visit you. People are being visited every day abroad. Now, what I'm trying to say is not to discredit the fact that there's civilization and there's no civilization, there's no much uh, industry and everything here. But I'm just trying to say that as much as we are praying, we should add work. As much as we are working, we should add prayer. We should add a work with God despite everything that we have. If somebody comes to you and says, I have all the money in the world, do you have your life? Nobody is as scared as very rich people. Go and write it. Nobody is living in fear more than them. They have more fears than we. That's normal. You know why? Number one, the number one fear is I don't want to go back. It be too much. We are day. Where I've driven to, don't let me stroll there. Except I'm doing road work. Number one problem. Number two problem. How do I man, how do I maintain my body enough to eat my hard work? The poor man does he have that kind of thought in mind? Number three, what do I do that will make my children not to destroy what I've worked for? Number four, how do I extend my life? Those four things alone keep them awake at night. What does that mean? There is a void in every man that seeks God and divinity. That's why when I was watching, I was watching a program, people began to comment on, online. A rich man that is known for riches entered his office. I don't know if you saw it. And knelt down started praying before he started working. How many of you saw it? I don't want to mention his name because we are online. He, he, he entered his office, rich man that is known for, maybe I don't know what he's known for. He entered his office and knelt down and was praying. We saw one of the richest men in Ibo land, I don't want to mention his name, with a pastor. They were praying together. So it's only fools that, know, that don't believe that there is God. Though. The real people, they are looking for him. They want him to help them secure their future. They want him to preserve them. And we, uh, somebody will just come and say, there's no God. This generation, hey, this church is of a thing. All this, Baba. You will see that those who are commenting there, please never find yourself there. Move. When you see people, let me just say this in digression. When you see people malign, disregard anything that has to do with God and his people, shut your mouth and move. Your wala is enough. Your problem. There, listen to me. There's nobody without problem. The Bible says the, the, re, the wise, sorry, built his house upon the rock. The foolish upon the sand. When they were building it, nothing came. There was no problem. Everybody was enjoying their building. Abby. They live inside. Then one day rain came. Storm came. Storm did not visit only rock. It didn't visit only sand. He visited the two of them. And he shook them what? vehemently. One stood, one fell. Storm will always come. Your foundation is what matters. Storm will always what? But you should not be part of the people that when storm comes, you, are, you know where the storm is coming from. You know, there's a way you can do, I'll give you an example. I'm going to be very practical. If a lady who has aborted nine times gets married, let's say nine, fifteen times, you know, it's a lot. Only God knows how many children were in heaven. For her. After 915 abortions, she now gets married. She now waits the first year, no baby. The second year, no baby. Do you know the way she will pray is different from somebody who married as a virgin that didn't have a baby? The one that married as a virgin, we say, Lord, I've been pure. Abby, why this? 
I don't deserve this. And God will look at the person, God might answer, depending, you know it's God. But the one that's about that nine times, when he, gets to, when he gets to first year, no baby, second year, no baby, third year, no baby, you will say, God, I know I've sinned. How many of you get what I'm saying? I'm glad you described. You hear God, you know about what is she? Shanumi. That's a daridji. Mumopi moti pa one moto wa numi tan. Now God can show mercy, and He might not. He is what? He's God. Unquestionable. But the two, the other one, the first one will be crying with a piece of heart. The other one will be crying, know that there's judgment. Don't join people who, when problem comes, they can see judgment side. That's why one of the reasons of one of the wisdom in wise people is they try not to sow bad seed. We live in a generation where God is being pushed to the background, making us think like there's nothing like God. China is, a, China is not an irreligious nation. China has more than 1,000 gods. India is doing well. Oh, India. They can worship pig, goats. As long as if the goat is deformed, if he has two heads, you see, ah, they will put him in the shrine. He say, God, they have some terrible, terrible things there. Now you begin to wonder why are they in the worship of spirits? I'm not saying Christianity alone. I'm saying why are they in the worship of divinity? Because they understand that hard work is not enough. There must be a correlation between work and the divine, because man is divine. Man is what. We are made with spirit, soul, and body. How many of you have ever seen a dead person before? A person that, just, that is dead that they want to bury. Do you know that there are some people that make up for dead? Their job is to... I don't know the type of job, but it's a job. They will use eyelashes on the dead. Yes. Morticia. They will put paint in the face. It's a job. Somebody must do it. <laughs> And they will take care of the dead. They will now wear clothes. They will buy clothes and sew for the dead. The difference between that dead person and the person that was there day before yesterday that was alive and kicking is life, is spirit, is unseen. You know that that thing is not seen. If, you are, if I'm here and I wear cocoa shoe and I step on your leg, come sir, and I step on your leg, sorry, I'm not going to step, what will you feel in your mind? Pain. Pain. Thank you. If you take a dead person and you give him, what will you feel? Why does he feel nothing? The spirit is... What is that thing they call life? Is it physical? Now, there are ways you can kill a man. I'm not teaching killing, but I'm just trying to explain something. That you made a man bleed out. Abi? Now, you understand that by that bleeding, the person can die, losing two thirds of his blood. There are ways that a person can go through physical trauma that can stop the heart. But the truth is, do you know some people have bled and they were still safe? Somebody took the blood, somebody wrapped it, and they rushed them to the hospital, and they received pints of blood, and they survived. Some people had a heart attack, that their heart stopped for five seconds. And somebody came with CPR and brought him back to life. Abi? What kept that person alive? Their life had not yet gone. So every trauma you, a body faces, or a human being faces, that leads to death is as a result of life living. Not even the trauma. People have, people have endured massive injuries and they didn't die because their life was still there. In the 90s, there was this raid in, I think it's Ife, where cultists were killing, wanted to kill a, some certain uh, SUG president. There was a man that was shot, a boy that was shot, shot almost 19 times with pellets. All he kept saying is, I cannot die. When they took him to the hospital, while they were reviving, he came back. The thing he came back to say was, I cannot die. He clung on to life. He would have bled to death, but he refused to live his life. Now, Jesus says something. Nobody can take my life except I give it. What he's talking about is not physical. It's an essence. Are you with me? It's a what? An essence. A force. A life force that we cannot see with our eyes. And for a man and a woman to succeed on earth, I'll tell you a secret today, it's not by what you do with your physical, it's by what is done in your life force. 
I tell you something before God today. I'm teaching us something tonight, this afternoon, before we go into the spirit. I'm telling you something today. I learned it earlier enough that no matter how skilled you are, it does not mean you will make it. No matter how gifted you are, it doesn't mean you will make it. There is a product of luck. Now that is the layman's talk, luck. Because luck is chance. Solomon, the wisest man on earth, he said the race is not to the swift, the battle is not to the strong, but what happens? Time and chances. Now that chances is luck. Now who is in charge of time and chances? You can say God, no, spirit. Spirit realm. Do you know that even personally, as a man of God, as much as I pray, as much as I plan, as much as I meditate, there are some things that have happened positively that I could never have planned for. It looked like accident. Do you know that those who die don't prepare to die? Oh, they just go out on their own. They stood at the wrong place at the wrong time. God forbid, there shall not be anybody's portion here. Yeah. And the car came and lost the brake and uh, they, 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 they just found themselves in the afterlife. That's what, what do you call that kind of luck? Bad luck. Good luck. Please come, sir. Please come, sir. I want to show you something. In Jesus' name, none of the names I'm calling you is your name. I just want to use you as illustration. Please come, sir. Stand like this, sir. Face us. Face one another. Okay, face us. No. Face, move apart a bit. A bit. Your name is not bad luck in Jesus' name. Your name is good luck. But let's say these are two entities. One is bad luck, not you in Jesus' name. One is good luck. You are both good luck in Jesus' name. Now, the two of them, using as example, are on their own. They don't, they don't meddle with human lives. They don't meddle with, they don't meddle with what we do. Now, this man come, is a man. These are spirits. Come, sir. This is a man. He is just a man. This is Good, this is BL, this is GL. So we don't call it fully. You understand BL? Yes. Now this man is working hard. He's praying. He's not praying, sorry. He's working hard. He's doing everything in his life. In his heart to make it in life. To become a person in life. To have children. To have a good marriage. You understand everything that man is looking for. To buy a car. To buy a house. And he's gifted. And we just walk little by little in front because there's no space. Little by little, little by little. Now, if there's no prayer involved, any one of these two can come. Come, sir. This is beer. Now, beer comes and he's like, God, I've done all I, but I just lost my job. I just lost everything I've been working for. Beer. Abby? Because he's not aligned with the spirit. I'm not saying God or Satan. I'm saying anything spiritual. Well, that's the reason why you see young people, they use soap, they do, I'm still going to balance it. They go to the devil, they go to this, they go to the water kingdom to go and get power, to go and get this thing. When you want to do politics, they tell you to bring seven head. Now, he is a free thinker. No spirit. He's not controlled by God, neither is he controlled by Satan. Bad luck comes. Abby, BL comes. And maybe he loses his job, things just get bad. You know, then this one too will come. He will come. So come, sir, stand beside him. This is BL, this is GL, Abby. Two of them are, they are, come, they, are, they are in front of him every time. Now, because he doesn't carry a spirit, whenever this guy comes, there's no hope. Every time he sees BL, ah, oh, ah, then when good luck comes, step aside. BL is here. Good one, come please. Stand close. Say, oh, thank God. Thank whatever. Go again. Come again. Oh, oh. Go again. Come again. Ah, thank God. The, moment, the more he's living like this, the more, as this one is coming, this one will be moving back. He's still there, but more of this one will be with him. Try and just hold him by the shoulder. Every time you'll be experiencing this, but sometimes this one will be coming. Be giving him relief. Panador. Small, small. That's why you see people, they go forward 10 times, they come back 20 times. They 
are blessed today. Tomorrow something happens. They are crying. Next tomorrow, oh, favor has come upon me. Next week. They lose, they get a new job today. Their first son dies tomorrow. Because there's no spirit backing their motion. You can sit down, sir. You come, sir. Stand, go back to your seat. This is a prayer warrior. Someone that knows God. This is beer. This is GL. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But what? But what? The God do what? Deliver them from all. This is beer is coming. Many times, even if you are in light standing with God, beer sometimes will come. Yes. It will look like, ah, but but every time, hold his neck. Me, as he's praying, God sent angels. Good luck has not yet come, but angels are present. The reason why I'm using the word luck here is because I don't want to use a spiritual term. I want to use a term that people understand. Nobody what? As he's praying, this BL is giving, dealing with him, dealing with him. And I, I, let's say I'm an angel. I just come and say, leave him, leave him, leave him for now. Every time I say leave him, every time he goes through bad luck, there's a promotion. Are you with me? Yes, say what? Now, for the one that was not praying, they had no spirit, there was no promotion, he just came. At the time, he got to a point that the bad luck was living with him, and good luck just used to visit him. But for every time he was afflicted, there was a promotion. It's not yet good luck, oh. Because of the intervention of the spirit. Because God is intervening. You cannot kill him. He's my son. He's my friend. I cannot mess with him. I cannot let you take his life. He will not take it. Just by the fact that he's going through this. Every time this one, he say, no, 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 not too much. He come again. But every time he's coming, it's not anything. It's examination for promotion. So the two of them started here. But by the time this one comes, sir. He has been promoted to this level. Come. He has been promoted here. He's already promoted above them. Above this one. Now in this promotion, every time God wants to promote him, sometimes this one can come. But to get to a time, because he's in line with God, only goodness and mercy. Hold his hand. Shall follow him. Goodness and mercy. An angel. Goodness and mercy. An angel. Now sometimes this one can come again. And give him a bad luck. I say, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, go back again. Another promotion. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. <laughs> hear me and hear me well. The reason why some of us cannot die in the storm is because of goodness and mercy. <laughs> the reason why you cannot die in the storm is because of what? Goodness and mercy. They are following you. So you are not living in luck anymore. You are living in G goodness. Grace, good luck is your name. This one, he, he can always, not you in Jesus' name, he can always, always, always come. As he's coming, they are stepping forward. As he's coming, they are stepping forward. After every test, it's a new promotion. But for the one that is free, he will live a normal life. Goodness will come, bad luck will come. But after some time, bad luck will be the center. For every bad thing that happens, for every good thing that happens, two bad things. For every one bad thing that happens. And the funniest thing is, there's something the spirit does. It gives stature. Another word for stature is growth. The more he's growing, the more he's getting stronger. That's why you see some people, what, they, what an, a Christian went through, if they go through it, they will kill themselves. But a Christian is strong. Like a phoenix, he keeps rising from the flames. He keeps rising from the ashes. There is a peace that is on the inside of a person that makes the person not to even feel. What you have, some people will be laughing at them. They will be looking like, ah, why are you laughing at me? Please have your seat. I remember many years ago when I came back. I don't know if you understand the drama I just played. Many years ago when I came back to Christ. Because things were not, oh, I was mocked. But when they were mocking me, God put it back there. I didn't understand why they were mocking me. See, ooh, he's, when he's finished for them, they will go and become, they will go to church. See, he's already dead. 
That his life has spoiled. And me, I was continue, I continue praying. <laughs> Hear this one. Me, I even like it. Hello to Tijula. He's in shame and he's going. But they didn't know that when he was going to the place of prayer, something was changing. Listen to me and listen to me well. No matter how smart you are, if you are not backed up by a spiritual force, you are an accident waiting to happen. A young, I watched, uh, I don't know if you, there's this, there's this, um, there's this uh, thing they used to show online. They showed a, a chicken. This chicken had a broken leg. I shared it. The chicken had a broken leg, and the owner of the chicken now was treating the chicken. He bought a wheelchair for the chicken. He was, he was meticulously taking care of this fowl. You know fowl? F-O-W-A. Me, I was even thinking that this is a love story. At the end of the day, I just saw chicken laps. Thirteen young. When they cut a sorry head, they put pepper on the head. They, 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 and the Holy Spirit said to me, "This is what the devil does to a non-believer. He will allow you to be fat, and he will harvest you. But when there is a spirit of God backing you, now when I use the word spirit, I'm not talking about only God. Many people find ways." Listen to me. If sacrifice of Albino does not work, they won't sacrifice them. You don't know. It works. If sacrifice of a ram does not work, they won't sacrifice ram. If politicians don't, have not noticed that when they kill your back, I'm not saying I've caught any, but so they say. It works. They won't, which means there are gates into the spirit that are different from even Jesus. But Jesus is the only safe gate. This is if you are doing a deal with Satan. Satan will not tell you what he will collect. No, this is a church of thousands. So some of you are here that you, you are actually, you just came to God because it's an extra. It's extra tire. Your real tire is that soap that was made from human hands. Listen to me and listen to me. You will try, it will work. But there are some things that will be happening to you. There is somebody. I'm going to say me, I don't even, I'll say it. There's, there's somebody in, in, the, in, in Africa and in Nigeria now, very popular. He's doing very well. Today, it's normal. Tomorrow, he can fly fence. Next tomorrow, he can start shouting at someone that helped him. I start shouting. I don't mention him. I don't. No, that is the result of soap. That works. You will become a potter. Today, a calm demon can enter you and you'll be calm. Tomorrow, another one that is, you'll be, yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's because of, because your body has become a conduit. You are carrying, your, your body is a dog. The moment you begin to seek the devil for solution, he makes your body a tool. Some days, you'll just be behaving like Shango. Ah, you know, everywhere, fire, 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 fire. A day you just be calm because of Batala Center, God of the water. You just be calm. And not, that is the way they will drive you one day that you will enter on that trailer. Because why? Because the spirit that is in you is opening doors to spirit, to strange spirit. I can do the drama again, but because of the time, I won't do it. I want to prophesy a bit to some people before we go for testimony. Are you with me, somebody? Now, I'm not saying, that's why I don't tell, I, I will never tell you that uh, uh, devil's power is not real. Devil has power. Oh, he has power. He can, he, can, he, he can make a man popular. He can make a man rich. But the price. Ooh. And you know when, you are, when, you, when he wants to do it, you will tell him that the price is not high, Joe. Whatever it is. How many of you have seen, have ever reached a place that even if Satan will give me this thing, I want it at all costs. Let me shall get it. If Satan gives you, man, the Yorubas have a way of elogizing a shoe. How many of you have heard it before? He gives you a shoe. He 
He collected the leg. Go and see children that were collected from Satan. You, you will know them. Some of them are in your neighborhood. Satan gave somebody a child. Satan. You went to one strange place. You drank egg. He now gave you a monogi. Tree child. The child can just wake up in the morning and you find him on the tree. You'll be asking that. Nimbalo. Oh, the only how? Mommy, my bell. Mommy, my my bell, Joe. In English, mommy, I will jump down. Mommy, I will jump down. Joe, 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 don't jump down. You say, mommy, are you sure? Is that child that we kill you? <laughs> Satan's child. Now somebody can argue with me. Satan does not give children. Laws of this planet gives children. Yes, God does not even. God can give it. God can give you the grace. God is not the one that all of us were not born from God. We're born as a design of our parents. God put His production, called reproduction, reproduction system in the body of every human being that makes them our children. But the spirit can be influenced by something. The life can be given by God of us. Satan. Satan gives somebody a child. And the child is just going in school like this. That's the kind of children that they, they can just take stone and break glass of somebody's car that you cannot pay for. <laughs> they just look for one Range Rover sport in the, in the community and carry stone. And they won't break it and run. They will break it and stay. <laughs> they will break the glass. So at least run so that they won't come and arrest you. They will stand like this in front of the glass. Who break it? Me. <laughs> Where's your mother's house? There. <laughs> when they carry you to your mother's house, mother's house say, what, what happened again? Last week, Emma, Emma Binu, last week, she fought television. Yeah. Last week, it's a Satan child. <laughs> now, I'm not, I would have explained more deeper, but I'm just trying to explain to you how meaningless the gifts of Satan can be. But when you allow Jesus and your faith is, is connected to Yeshua HaMashiach, something begins to happen to your life that changes your life. What is it? You will face storm like every normal person, but it will be a stepping stone. <clears throat> Other people's storm will stop them. You, by the time you face one storm, next thing, promotion. After everyone, uh, last week when we took, I took a picture, we took a video intentionally about the, the people that came to the service, and it was so much. And I was just laughing. So we said, ah, how come it grew? Oh, we went through storm, promotion came. We went through storm, promotion came. Because goodness and mercies are following. Goodness and mercy are what? How many of you just go back home and meditate on that drama I just played? The bad one, good, bad luck will stay. Good luck will still come once in a while. But for men that are in the spirit, there's nothing like good luck. It's called goodness. Goodness shall follow all the days of your life. Listen to me and listen to me where if you are still playing with God, sit with him today. Burn that bridge. That thing that keeps reminding you that in your family there's one issue they used to worship. That if you go and worship him, he can change your life. Don't, don't change your mind. Design yourself and say to yourself, I will not leave God no matter what. I will not leave Jesus no matter what. There was a sister from the other religion that came to FMIC and she was believing God for a child. And I ministered to her. And I told her one day, I said, you told God that if you don't have a child, you will go back to Islam. How many of you remember? She has given birth to her son now. Amazing. But I said something that day. I said, if you keep keeping the bridge, you will still go back there. If you keep what? Keeping the bridge. There was a battle in the Second World War that they wanted to take over an island. The Allied forces. The Allied forces are a group of forces consisting of the American, the British, the... Uh, the Canadian, the French, and I think, I don't know, I think the Japanese, I don't know if they were among them, but those are the four I can remember. And there was this battle. And in this battle, the, the battle was on an island. The Japanese were the ones against them joining the Hitler's army. 
and they began to fight in the army. Every commander that went to that, to that uh, island, they will run away. They will kill all of them. Then they sent one commander with his platoon. And when, he got, when they got to that, to that ship and they landed on the island, he said, he said to his boys, he said, burn the ships. Burn the ships. They asked him, Oga. <laughs> How many of you are with me? He said, burn the ships. Ah. He said, Oga. Oga, wait. Everybody, over five generals have been sent to that island. Every one of them, they run back. Destroyed, disseminated. He said, burn their ship. They said, okay, okay, obey the last command. That's how they turned their guns on their ship and finished their ship. They took that island. Though. You know why? Nowhere to run. If they had a place to run to, they wouldn't take over any. They, 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 they would just say, once they kill 17, you see, okay. And they go back. Even they will cause mutiny. The army will turn against them. I will shoot you. Let us run. You want to kill our father? I shoot you. Let's run. But when there was nowhere to go, they battled. They stood and they said, "We die here." They took the island because they fought like crazy people because there was nowhere they will run to. Listen to me. The reason why you are running back to the devil is because your boat is still at your shore. When you tell the devil, I die with Jesus. Devil have no choice. Devil hates a consistent, focused, intentional person. He doesn't like you. Because he knows that you are like him. Devil too is very consistent. He's very tenacious. If you are still coming to church, you still have one soap. None of it will work for you. You better face your soap. An open miracle soap, soap shop. Stay there. But if you know that it's only Jesus that you have and you are ready to die there, he's ready to lift you. Sometimes Jesus needs to just see your consistency. He needs to see your heart. Somebody said, somebody said to me, we have gone through, this, this work has gone through so many storms but we stayed. I remember one day we finished service like this and people, it was a rainy day, hardly unlike me. I don't go home quickly. I went home quickly. And that's how they called me from home. I was eating. I was about to break my fast. The cars cleared people at this junction. Physically, people died. And service was held on Wednesday. I saw dead people like this. I prayed for one. God restored one. By the grace of God. But the rest, thank God. I prayed. I saw dead. But at the point, I just looked and I smiled. I can't give up. People were saying, hmm, that's no wonder they have miracle in that church. They are using something. They are finally, as if people don't die normally. But there was tenacity. We stayed because we have burnt the boat. If someone has not burnt the boat, I can still run to the boat and say, hey, Joe, let me, me lost other side. If I let go, no, we stay in the boat. I'm not talking about foolishness. I'm talking about using the principles that God has given to you and also using the tenacity that God has prevailed to you. Listen to me. If you can do it, you can stand the test of anything. The devil will be tired of fighting you. How many of you have seen people that can, that can really fight? You know they are not fat. Israel, this one, yeah. They are not fat. If you are fat, the reason why they will beat you is because they can stay longer. The more you are beating them, the more they're coming back for more. How many of you have fought somebody like that before? That you are beating, you are winning, you are stronger. But the person can take more beating than you. The person come again. You will be the one say, Elawa. Please, somebody just come and, and separate, end this fight. You had initial grab grab, but by five minutes, the other person is still doing like this. Let me ask me. <laughs> I will tell you this joke. I was in uni. And there was this slim guy. It's Tamara. He was about to fight this tall, big guy. We didn't know that the slim guy was a boxer. You know, as a Tamara, you don't talk much. So he didn't tell us his pedigree. He didn't tell us what he was involved in. At home. We just came to school. Everybody in shirt and trousers. We did not know we have Olympic boxer <laughs> in the room. 
So the two of them stood and they started to exchange blow. The big one was just, ah, it now looked as if the other one was using jazz. No blow was touching him. Oh, we, 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 ah. I mean, I was watching on my bed. I was trying to get a message. <laughs> because I used to think, I was just thinking, no blow, the guy threw 15. About 15. We, 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 we. After some time, the guy had not yet received any punch. He was already tired. Was like, <sighs> the other one now started. My brother became Chinese the next day. This way, like. Now, when the, the student disciplinary committee came, because we went to a private school, Christian school, who beat who? The other guy. Now we are trying to say, now this big guy is Tatam. But who is wounded? <laughs> who cannot see? Who went to hospital? Who went to sick bay? The big guy. When the big guy came out of the sick bay, the respect that he had for that small guy, there was honor. Honor. You look at him like this. He did, what they were fighting for was conflicts. And they beat big man because of conflict. That's when I knew the race is not to the swift. They battle not to the strong. There is a system that guarantees victory. Are you with me, somebody? I look and I understood that day that a man that is unshakable cannot be shaken. The difference between palm tree and every other tree is that they take their location very close to heavy wind. The highest thing when the wind is coming is the bend. The wind cannot carry them. They bend. And it's only the palm tree that everything about it is useful. Everything. Because it stays in the place of the storm. Listen to me, if you are a person that runs away from storm, one little thing, I'm not serving God anymore. Please leave God today. And go and focus on Ogrimapa. I don't know if I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a name of a, a, an idol. Don't focus on your family idol and begin to be giving him drink every day. Because you cannot stay. Satan knows that your sheep are still at the shop. The man, that captain, that general, he said, Burn my sheep. One of the, the assistants came. He said, sir, sir, how do we leave this island? He said, we are not planning on living here. We take it or we die. They took the island though. What was the difference? Some had the escape rope. The other ones didn't have the escape rope. I'll give you another example. I like to use examples so that you can understand what I'm saying. If you are fighting with somebody that wants to kill you, you cannot win. Because you, you are looking to suppress. That person is looking to kill. If you are in a physical fight, and you are with somebody that wants to kill you. The person can be as tiny as... That's the reason why a human being cannot defeat a dog without weapon. You don't know. They are, they are designed to kill. You are designed to preserve yourself and to subdue. How many of you have seen cats that is angry before? How many of you have cats cat has attacked you before? Cat. Ordinary cat. Musu. White and brown. Do you know that they are terrible? If they claw you with, 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 with intention, you will be infected. Is that infection that will kill you? They will bite you with bacteria. Why? Because they are smaller than you, but they are designed as animals. You are not an animal. You are a man. When you fight the devil like a man, he will defeat you. Fight him like a crazy person. Stay with No matter what the devil does, say, I stay here. You have not got into I remember many years ago when the doctor said I couldn't have a child. I just told God, I said, God, you know I'm into miracle ministry. They say that's where the power is from. I continue doing service. People were giving testimony, I continue my own. When God answered me finally, I didn't even know. My mind was not there. Why was my mind not there? Because what? I'm serving a God and I'm not ready to leave him. I was talking to somebody online yesterday. I was praying for people online. The young man said, a prophet that, a prophet that is doing a money ritual, that is doing a, a, a sacrifice of animal, was prophesying that there's one prophet in Ibadan. Very, he used to call his name. He will soon die. 
Many years ago. No, it's not, it's not recently. Many years ago. I was just laughing. I said, can a dead man die? <laughs> we don't die. So, second death. You know? He got to it. We stayed with this God. You see, the reason why there is a crowd there, he buried something. Anywhere we go, when we were in the stadium, the same thing. What do you bury? I buried resilience. I buried myself. Paul said, the life I live is in Christ. My old life don't... I remember, I can tell you the exact day that everything about this life... That's why I would do service and I would not take offering. I was in... I got with you yesterday. I didn't take any offering. As a matter of fact, I blessed the convener that invited me. I did not take any offering. I supported the work because I'm more for salvation. I didn't take it. Say, hey, but prophet, how do you do it? I don't know. I burnt my boat. <laughs> so when the devil comes, I say, nothing is working. I say, okay. Something is working. I say, okay. God, goodness and mercies are following. When you get to that, God will test you in this thing I'm saying. Oh, you'll be tested. You truly want to follow God. You, sometimes you will not see Gary to drink. But if I were to be you, I'll follow him. I started ministry for years, drinking a Karangari. Who, was, who prepared the akara? My mother-in-law. She will prepare the akara. We will eat the akara and drink the gari for two years. We had members. I can be raising money. I say, I don't know if I two and one year. Yeah. <laughs> I never did that. We kept on waiting. We kept on waiting. We kept on waiting. Today, by the grace of God, I can feed people. But now the question is, is it because... Of, is it because of gift? Am I doing any business? No. But God is answering. God has lifted people in this ministry that became something mighty. Who knew the heart of their father? They knew that by the grace of God, this man was not after our pocket. He gave even when we, did, when, when we didn't have. Now our turn is to give back. That was the secret because the sheep was burnt. What sheep have you burnt? Some of you have kept your Ifa idol somewhere in a corner. If I pray to Jesus for seven days, it doesn't work. I'll go and carry it far. None of them will work. Because in the book of First Kings, when Elijah came to, to confront the prophets of Baal, the prophets of Baal will not enter the contest if their, if their God has never sent fire before. They know he has sent fire before. That's why they enter contest. But because God was present, they cannot come and show themselves. They were, right were cutting themselves with lance. With knife, no fire came down. Why? Because they say, ah, or they are playing. No they are We cannot show up. If it's not there, we will show. But they were calling on God. You can't call on God and Satan and expect any one of them to answer. Except you are calling on God alone. Focus yourself. Tell your neighbor, focus. focus. Say it louder. Focus. Say it louder. Say it louder. Focus. Say it louder. Focus. On Jesus. The author and the finisher of your faith. If you have been blessed by this video, like, follow, and share.